Good morning students, my name is Daud, Daud Ali from Shiv Jyoti School and I am your teacher for today's lesson. I hope you are having a good time and if you are not, then you will have now because we are going to study together something very interesting and it is indeed a great day to start a new chapter of English Literature. So allow me to begin with it, chapter 4, Patul Babu, Film Star. So before we start this lesson, there are certain things that you need to keep in mind. Number one, this chapter is set in the past. It is of the time when the capital city of West Bengal, which is now known as Kolkata, it was then known as Calcutta. So it is set in 1930s. Number two, the main character of the story, Patul Babu, is a bald man, as you can see in the picture. Ball means he has no hair on this uh, part of his head. So we are going to start with it now. Uh, um, Patul Babu had lost his clerical post with Hudson and Kimberley in Calcutta due to the cost-cutting measure during the war more than 10 years ago. So what happened? Patul Babu has now lost his job and it's been 10 years now that he has been jobless. Since then, he had tried a number of different jobs from running a store to becoming an insurance salesman. He has lost his job and he has been trying so many jobs, so many odd jobs, uh, every kind of job he has been trying from running a store uh, to becoming a salesman. But unfortunately, let's see what happens next. However, he was not able to settle into any of these endeavors and was in great need of money. He has been trying so many jobs, but he is unable to run his livelihood. It's very sad time for him. It is very difficult time for him. He has no money with him and he is very upset with his current circumstances. One day his neighbor Nishikanto Babu introduced him to Naresh Dutt. Naresh was part of the production department of a new movie and asked Patol Babu to do a small role in the movie. This offer made Patul Babu recall his younger days when he had a settled job at Kancharapara. So something, has, something beautiful has happened now, an opportunity has knocked on his door. He has been unemployed, he has um, no money to run his livelihood and he's uh, hardly able to live his life happily. But now something beautiful has happened. An opportunity has knocked on his door. Let's see what has happened. His neighbor Nishikant Babu has introduced him to some man and his name is Naresh Dutt. Who is Naresh Dutt? Naresh Dutt was part of the production department of a new movie. So there is a new upcoming movie and Naresh Dutt is, is, is in the production department. He is taking care, he is looking after the production department. and. He, uh, this person, Nishikant Babu, has introduced our Patul Babu to this person, Naresh Dutt. And Naresh Dutt has asked Patul Babu to do a small role in his movie. Bad days are about to be over for Patul Babu. Patul Babu was very upset whether I will, how, how am I going to live my life, how am I going to earn my money, I don't have any job, I am very sad, I am very upset. But all those days for Patul, Patul Babu um, are, are about to go now because he has been just now offered a small part in a film and he has started to dream about it. He has started to dream of a better life now. Let's see what happens next. This offer made Patul Babu recall his younger days when he had a settled job at Kacharapara. So now when he has, uh, when Naresh Dutt has asked Patul Babu to do this job, but, uh, Patul Babu is now lost in thoughts. He is in his memories of his younger days when he was young, when he had a proper job at Kacharapara. In those days, he was a regular actor in the Jatras, amateur theatricals and play place put up by the club in his neighborhood. His talent was appreciated and his name often appeared on the handbills advertising the performances. In fact, people often watched the place just for his performances. He is now lost in thoughts. 
he is in memories he is thinking of of his younger days he is recalling his childhood he, um, sorry he is recalling his younger days when he was young and what he used to do he was a regular actor he used to be a regular actor he was an artist he was a very good artist and he used to earn money his talent was appreciated he was very talented and people used to appreciate his talent so these are all the memories that are going through his mind when he is offered this job and um, he is very he is really excited and he is looking forward to take this uh, to accept this offer and to work in the direction in fact people often watch the place just for his performances in recent years however he was too busy trying to earn a living and had to give up his love for the stage just like we go to watch a film for our favorite actor the, the, uh, i have my favorite actor you might have your favorite actors i go to watch film because i like shahrukh khan and whoever your favorite actor is you go to watch film for, uh, just for just to watch his performances similarly in those days this person patol babu was such a brilliant actor was such a brilliant uh, stage artist theater artist theater actor that people used to uh go to watch the place just to watch his performances he was that good in his work he was an amazing artist so he is recalling all those good days of him and now he is looking forward to um, making him to making his return in this uh, acting line again since he has been jobless as we learned in the previous slides When Patul Babu reached the scene of the shooting outside Farade house he observed all the activity on the sets but was anxious about his role and wanted to know what his lines would be okay the day has come this is it this is the day when patol babu is going to start acting again he is happy he is punctual he has reached uh, at the shooting place on time he is now there and he is sitting there and which place is this this place is known as farade house he is observing the shooting there and and he is waiting there and he is anxious he is nervous and at the same time he is excited and he wanted to know about his part he wants to know what would be the lines he would have to say he wants to know what would be the uh, act acting role he would have to play what would be his character there are so many questions in his mind but he is sitting patiently there and observing and waiting for his turn to come and waiting for the director of the film to interact with him When Naresh Dutt told him that he had to walk to a certain point bump into the hero Chanchal Kumar and say a single word oh Patol Babu was initially disappointed uh, now and uh, a funny thing has happened with Mr Patol Babu it it's a it's a funny thing uh, Naresh Dutt now has told him uh, we need to pay attention who is the hero who is going to be the hero of the film the name of the person is Chanchal Kumar so what all uh, all this person patol patel babu has to do is just say just utter a single word of two letters o h o o h o he is very upset his heart is broken he has many dreams about this job about this role but now when he has uh, realized and he has got to know that all he needs to do is just utter a single word of two letters oh i came here with so many dreams this is what he is thinking i came here to act i thought i would be given a great role to do but what has happened here i have to just say a single word i have to utter a single word is this it patul babu is very upset and is asking question to himself but he recalled his mentor mr prakashi telling him that it was not the size of the role but what you give to it that matters so he started practicing various ways of saying the word trying to mix 60 parts of irritation with 40 of surprise he is thinking of his mentor mr prakashi prakashi had told him what a wonderful thing prakashi his teacher his mentor he taught patol babu that it doesn't matter uh, what is the size of your role how beautifully you played that is more important it uh, the size does not matter how you do it that is more important 
So he's now trying to motivate himself. He's thinking of his mentor, what my mentor taught me. He taught me that it doesn't matter, the size does not matter. How beautifully I, I do it, am I giving, am I going to give my best? That is more important. So, Patul Babu has decided to give his best. He's going to give his best, even though he has to just utter a single word of two letter, but he will still give his best. He is now thinking of his mentor and what he learned from him and he is going to give his very best to utter a single word of two letters O H O. And what he is doing now, he is trying to mix 60 parts of irritation with 40 of surprise. Isn't it wonderful kids, isn't it wonderful O H two letter word and he is going to try it in, in, in 100 different ways. He is going to say this in 100 different styles, 60 in irritating way, oh, 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 and 40 with surprise, oh, oh, what a talent, what a brilliant artist he was, what a brilliant actor he was. When the time came for the shot, he suggested that he should hold a newspaper, which the director agreed to. He was also given a moustache for the role. Finally, he performed a most impressive shot which did not require any retakes. Now the big time has come. The Patrol Babu is going to act, he is going to do his part. But before he, before he starts, he is suggesting the director that he should hold a newspaper like this. And he should also uh, have a moustache moustache, so that uh, it will look more appropriate and, uh, and relevant to the kind of role he is going to play into the kind of dialogue he is going to say. And director agrees to, uh, to his suggestion. He performed a most impressive shot. He is, since you know, uh, there is a saying, practice makes a man perfect. He practiced so many times, so many times that he finished the shot just so impressively and just in one shot that everybody including the directors and co-actors they were all impressed with him and he did not need any retake he finished it just in one shot that's how impressive he did his part however while waiting for Naresh Dutt to pay him for his role Patol Babu realized that the creative satisfaction that he had got from this small performance was far more important than the money that he would have earned. He quietly went away from there. Now this sense of realization has touched Patol Babu when he's sitting alone and waiting for Naresh Dutt to arrive and pay for him uh, and pay him his, his amount of money which he has rightfully earned here by uh, doing the job he was given to do. But uh, he is now in thoughts again and he is thinking he is so impressed and he is so touched, he is so satisfied and he is so content with the way he finished his job that he, he thought that taking money for it wouldn't be, uh, wouldn't match the, uh, what he has put into it. He thought that money is, is uh, he thought that uh, feeling content and feeling satisfied and doing uh, and giving your best is more important than uh, thinking about money and money does not matter as, as much as performing good and doing your best and giving your best does. So this is it for today children thank you for joining me and what we learned from today from this chapter is ki aap kaam kya kar rahe hai? kaam kitna bada hai, kaam ka size kya hai, kaam bada hai ya chota hai, it does not matter. Aap, aap se us kaam ko karte hai, that is more important. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you very soon again.